Hey everybody, this is Sink One Five Tennessee Titan. Welcome Tennessee Titan. Ah, God, I gotta stop saying that intro so fast. Welcome back to Let's Play Shinmu One and Two. In the last part, we got we uh we encountered two of those cutscenes. They're optional but not mandatory. And we called up Master Shin, and we are going to go to Warehouse Number Eight. If they will let me get on the bus real quick, get on, hurry up. I want to go. There we go, thank you. Like I said in this part, we are going to go to warehouse number 8 and give this to Master Chin. Well, show Master Chin that we got the Phoenix Mirror. Alright, now that we're here, we don't get a notebook information, and now if I remember where warehouse number 8 is, it's somewhere over here, correct? It's been a while since, since I've been here. The time of this recording, um, actually, is that the homeless man guy? Here. Excuse me. I like being on my lonesome. Don't you talk to me. All right. Well, fuck you too, bitch. Anyways, um, like I was saying. Oh, look, Tom's here. Wow. Hey. Hey, Rio. You're looking good. Hey, Rio. How about a dog? No thanks. Maybe next time. Yeah, Rio and or not Rio. Tom and I guess it's wife, I guess, or girlfriend, I don't know, also come here to where, they basically come wherever the heck you're going, but, um, like I was saying, uh, it's been a while since I've done recording at the time of, what am I trying to say, um, before we go, um, what am I trying to say, uh, like, part 21, it, it's been, it's been like a week since I've recorded, how about that, let's put it like that way been a week since I've recorded. So anyways, let's go right here. Uh, I need to go to warehouse number 8. I have an appointment with Master Chen. What's your name? Dio Hazuki. I've been expecting you, sir. Please, go on in. Yeah, and I think if you try to, uh, if you try to actually, what they call it, um, if you try to actually go in without talking to that guy, I think he'll tell you to leave or something. Now, where is warehouse number eight, if I remember correctly? It is somewhere over here, correct? Nope. Uh, well, well, we'll find it. I think it's right here. No, it's number nine. Okay, this is warehouse number eight. All right. Now let's go in here and show Master Chen the Phoenix Mirror. Woohoo! Ah, the Phoenix Mirror. Yes, it's made of Phantom River Stone. Why did Landy only steal the Dragon Mirror? He probably didn't realize your father had both of them. Two mirrors. A long time ago, Chu Yuan Da once told me, when the dragon and the phoenix meet, the gates of heaven and earth will open, and Chi Yu will resurrect itself on earth. Chi Yu? It's a legendary Chinese monster that will devour this world of ours. It appears Lan Di will try to make use of both mirrors. What will he try? That even I don't know, but you mustn't allow him to get that mirror. Be careful and stay alert. 
If he finds that mirror, it will be the end of you. Huh? Oh, shit. What the? Hey! Two mirrors! Landisama will be pleased! We can! Oh! Hazuki! Push that button! Thanks. Is it the work of the Mad Angels? Mad Angels? We always have trouble with that gang. Those dirty bastards. That thing was probably connected to the Chi Yo Men. The Chi Yo Men? Yes, the Chi Yo Men and Mad Angels are linked. Perhaps they are the ones who guided Lan Di here. So, if I find the Mad Angels, I'll find Lan Di. Nah, he's likely not here anymore. Then where did he go? Well, maybe he has already gone to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? I have a request. Request? What is it? Please help me get to Hong Kong. If so, then what? I'll find Lan Di. And then? And then, he'll kill you. He's too strong. What did you say? Stop it. I must avenge my father's murder. <laughs> How admirable. But you don't stand a chance. Well, if it was you... Suppose your father was murdered, what would you do? Please, help me. I'm sorry, but I can't. Let's go, Kui Chan. Master Chen, please wait! You should not waste your life on revenge. So, the Chi Yo men? And Landi? Seems he left for Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Alright, and with that, we have to be forced to go to sleep, so let's go to sleep. But before we go to sleep, uh, I just want to say, I don't remember if I mentioned this already, but you actually get a bad ending. I think if you wait till like Fe February like 20th or something like that in this game, and you wait, you take too long to beat this game, you actually get a bad ending. Look at them on YouTube, basically Landy finds you and kills you, basically, and gets the mirror. That's pretty much how it ends. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't show like it kills you, it pretty much just shows like he he hits you and you go flying, and it's just like game over. That's pretty much how it is. If you want to see it, you can look up bad ending Shinmu on YouTube. I think if there is a little video on that on YouTube already. So, without further ado, let's go to sleep.
but now we read our notebook, Creepy Skinhead, Try to Steal the Mirror, Chi Men and Mad Angels are connected. Bad Angels are enemies of Master Shen's group, it appears landing the authority of for Hong Kong. I believe you can press B, there is another cutscene. Yes, I am right. Uh, guess Hong Kong's out. I should talk to Fuxun. Now, I've been trying to figure out how, um, how this two ends, I finally remembered, but I'm not gonna spoil it. For people who haven't played this game yet. But anyways, I think we're going to cut it right here because there's a, I think there's a couple more cutscenes coming up. So in the next part, we will go talk to Fukuzan and ask him about uh, this money issue and trying to get a trip to Hong Kong. So this is 615 Tennessee Titans and see you on the next part I guess. Peace.